Hello, guys. Wow. I don't even have my phone ready. I'm coming. I'm coming. Coming. Here I come. Hi, 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 everybody. Don't forget to turn on live chat. Give us a thumbs up, please, darling. I'm going to cut some paper. We need paper. Um, if you guys didn't know, two videos went up today. This beautiful birthday card for one of my besties. Use the 3D embossing folder of the month from Spellbinders and the new hot foil sentiments and dies. And I think you guys all pretty much jumped on this, especially you hot foiling folks. But they do have dies. So if you're not into hot foiling, that's okay. Spellbinders thought of everybody. Um, but it's just so pretty when it's foiled. And there are inside sentiments. Oops. My bestie wasn't supposed to see that. Hopefully she didn't see it. And then um, the Showered with Love, which I showed this one live the other night. But this embossing folder, yummy. Um, showered with Love collection. So those went live with Spellbinders today. And... I showed a video the other day where I tested out five different types of paper for hot foiling, right? Because the biggest struggles you guys have is paper and paper was at a shortage. So my thought process behind that was, I'm sure there are other um, papers out there that we can use for foiling. So that I think went pretty well. For those of you that did not know, the um, does hot foil come with the dies too? No, the dies are separate. For that Giannis Makula set, um, it's the Hello Friend. Oh, now you're going to make me dig it out. Hold on. No. So it's the Hello Friend hot foil plates. They do not come with the dies. It's just the glimmer plates. These are all the glimmers. Hello, wonderful, beautiful. And then you have the little small sentiments that go above or below. And if you want the dies, that's a separate set. So you kinda, if you want the dies, you gotta buy the dies and the hot foil together. So here are the dies. The dies, if you're not a foiling person, you don't have to buy the hot foil. So here are the dies. Wonderful, beautiful you, and I believe, yes, hello. So all of the same foiling. And that's because not everybody's into foiling, so they didn't want to force the people who don't foil to buy the foil stuff. And let's face it, if you're into foiling, you're going to buy the dies, right? We're not going to not buy the dies. So, and then there's one more for you. So, with the die cuts, you get an extra word, which is you. But it's two separate sets. And we have these on... Spellbinders and scrapbook.com. So I have the link for scrapbook.com. I have the link for Spellbinders. Spellbinders UK for all my UK friends. I love that they have it in the UK now. Hopefully, hopefully that gives you a, a postage point. I don't know if it ships from the US or it ships from a warehouse in the UK. Um, hopefully UK. <clears throat> Um, okay, so today's homework, well, not homework, today's lesson, um, getting back to where I was, was I have the signups in the Foiling Snobs Club on Facebook for the Glimmer 101 class, the Go Press and Foil 101 class, and the Foil Press 101 class. So if you want 
me to walk you through how to do basic foiling and you have a cell phone, an iPad, a computer that you can log in through Zoom with a camera, I can see what your kind of issue that you're having is and try to help you troubleshoot through it. The foil, foil press class is almost halfway filled up. I'm gonna max it out at 20. So we're almost done with the foil press. We're halfway there. There is still some room on the glimmer class and the go press and foil class. Um, one of the classes is Friday, this Friday, this Friday at 8 p.m. Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And then next Friday, I believe, I don't have these written down. Next Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. So each class is only for that individual machine. And I have asked you guys to get the paper that I recommended, which would be um, Hammer Mill, Crafty Critta, Spellbinders. Those papers I know are going to work. Even Nina paper, the video I did the other day goes through all those papers. I just ask you don't use card base or accent opaque or any heavy, heavy, super card base cardstock and colored cardstock. I'm going to ask you guys not to use that on this class because this is basic 101. So we want to make sure you're using the right paper. And today I'm going to bring in seven hot foil companies. So part two of this kind of assignment is um, people are using the wrong foil. So there is what's called toner foil or textile fo foil. That's going to be your mink foil, your deco foil, toner foil, transfer foil, um, uh, Heidi Swap foil, um, there's a lot of companies, Deco Foil, that's by Gina K. Those are all good companies, but that is a totally different foiling system. That's a foiling system if you want to use your mink machine or your laminator and you have pre-printed toner designs. If you don't have pre-printed toner designs, that foil will not work. So this foil is specifically for hot foiling. Hot foiling is a machine like this where you have a special hot foil stamp and the hot foil stamp, this all gets rolled through a die cutting machine and that presses into your paper and it stamps the image, okay? So it's kind of like letter press and those other foils will not work. There is no adhesive medium in them and you can't make them work. And no, there is no way from visually looking at different brands of foil, smelling it, touching it, licking it, there is no way to say, oh, this is a toner foil and this is a hot foil. If you drop your pack of foils on the floor between hot foils and toner foils, good luck, okay? So I always advise you guys to keep your foils in their original storage container, whether they come in a box or a folder or a baggie. Um, this particular one is deco foil, and they don't have special packaging for their new hot foils. Um, and this one did come in a bag. I took it came in a bag of three. So this one is blue bonnet, so it does come in a bag. But um, deco foil, a little bit disappointed. Did not come in any reusable storage. So why do you want to keep your foil stored? Because they are susceptible to scratching, dust, very delicate surface, and we want to keep them protected from all that. But I digress. So I am using the Glimmer today. The Glimmer is most closely related to the Go Press and Foil. So if you watch my Glimmer videos or my Go Press and Foil videos, they're interchangeable. They're cousins. They're very, very closely related. The foil press is a different animal. That is, um, even though it is a hot foiling machine, you have to learn the heat settings, you have to learn the timing, and you have to learn what foil you can use on that. So that will be taught in the foil press class. But today, I want to talk about if you're using the Glimmer um, and you're using different types of foils, hot foils, what's going to work and what's not going to work. In order to keep the playing field even, we're going to use this machine because there's no timer settings, there's no heat settings. It is once it's set and done. We're also going to um, use my new favorite hot foil plate is this cute little car. This is from the brand new Spellbinders Glimmer of the Month for January. If you haven't signed up, 
He's too adorable. I just want to make cars all day long. And I have cut down Hammer Mill Premium Color Card Stock with the chameleon on it. I cut down eight sheets. This is the 100 pound. This is back in stock in my Amazon shop. So <clears throat> if you don't have it, I do like this paper. Um, you can also do the 80 pound. The 80 pound versus the 100 pound is going to depend on the weight of your machine and your die cutting machine. If you have a brand new die cutting machine and it is super tight, you may not want 100 pound. You may want to go at 80 pound. If the 80 pound is too thin, you can always add a paper shim. It's personal preference on which one you want to try out. Now, if your machine's a little looser like mine is, 100 pound works perfectly. So you have to try it out. Um, but the 80 and the 100 pound are in my Amazon shop. <clears throat> you could also use Nina or Crafty Critter paper or Spellbinders paper, as I said in my previous hot foil paper video. But today we're going to talk about foil. So to all fairness, we're going to use the same hot foil plate. We're going to use the same paper. And all I'm going to do is change the foils. So let's talk about the foils. The first one we're going to start off with is the brand new released Deco Foil Hot Foil. Um, I did do a review on this. I think that this foil, first of all, I already mentioned, I don't like the inability to store them. There's no tube like their toner foil. Um, it is very thin, as you can see, as it's curling up here on me. And I just think for the value there, and I'm going to show you, there are other hot foil companies out there. You can get a better value, get more foil. It's a little thicker. It's a little easier to handle. But I digress. The test today is how will it hot foil? So we're going to own. Oh, this is my foiling friend, which keeps everything straight for me. And if you don't have that, we'll put the link. It's like $2.99 instant download, and you just want to print that on regular paper. But it's going to keep my car at the bottom of my cardstock here so that if I want to make a card later, I do not have to die cut him out. However, he does come with a die cut. Okay, so in the glimmer, your red light's going to come on. When your platform is hot enough, the green light will come on. And once that comes on, we press this timer button and it will blink for 60 seconds and then we'll roll it through our die cutting machine. So the foils we're going to test today, and these are all hot foils, and I really think only one of them is going to give me a problem. And if you have been following me, you'll know which one it is. So we're just going to set this aside until it's green and ready to blinky blink. Okay, so the foils we're going to use, the first one is... Deco foil, hot foil. I'm going to write this down. I just have this paper here because I was doing new hot wax seals from Spellbinders. So number one is going to be deco foil, hot foil. And these are not in any particular order. And this is new for them. They did not have hot foils before. So don't mix up your toner foils and your... Um, and I'm going to call this like a mint green in case we forget which is which. Number two is going to be <clears throat> Glimmer, which Glimmer foil has been rebranded. It's not green anymore. The box is white. Um, and the color of this one is cobalt. Okay. Number three is going to be Go press and foil, and this is a silver I don't know what they call it silver diamonds. Okay, number four, we're gonna do um, Gemini Paper Craft which is fuchsia, magenta, cerise, they call it. I'm going to put 4A and 4B because this is the same company. So it's not a different company. Okay. 
And this is Gemini Multi-Surface. So Gemini has two types since they brought the foil press back from its little vacation. There's paper craft foil and multi-surface foil. So we're going to try both of these out. And again, this is specific to the Glimmer or the GoPress and foil. We are not talking about the Gemini machine today. Five is going to be foil quill. This comes in sheets and rolls. It doesn't matter. Six is going to be our friend at Blue Bonnet. I really hope I grab the hot foil. I just grabbed the bag. We'll find out. And then number seven, we save the best for last. Is Crafty Critta, because I already know that's gonna work. All right, are we ready to start the experiment? Let me read the comments here. Oh, Evelyn, yeah, great. And speaking of extra platforms, um, Spellbinders did launch the extra top plates. So if you guys need the two extra shim and plate Spellbinders, I think the price was $19.99. I don't need an extra one. I already have an extra one. But if yours is getting beat up and bent and warped just based on the uh, die cutting machine you're using, you can buy the two top plates now at Spellbinders. So my guys will put a link for you guys for Spellbinders. All right, and if I miss any comments, my guys need to holler at me because I can't see. My awesome, amazing team. All right, we're going to bring in the Platinum Six. So this foiling guy does print wonky for you. So you're going to get this, I believe, and T, correct me, you get the straight and the wonky depending on how you want to use it. There is one for the foil press and for the go press and foil and for... Here's how it prints your foiling friend, your machine. So there's one for the Gemini foil press. There's one for the go press and foil. There's one for the glimmer. And all you do is cut around this dotted line, just print it on regular paper. I thought I was being fancy printing on an acetate. Don't do that. Print it on regular paper. You can print it as many times as you want. Cut it out on that dotted line for your machine and then just use a little washi tape to tape it at the top and bottom. Or if you have that Spellbinders, Most Perfect, whatever yellow tape, you can use that too. Um, but this has come in very handy, you guys. It's $2.99. What? That's a deal. All right, we've been talking too long. We're going to run this through. Okay, and I'm just going to run it through once. <coughs> We're not going to be on here all night. I'm supposed to be doing reports. I'm procrastinating. You guys are my distraction. Okay, so that is the green. We're going to keep moving along here. Keep on down, keep on down the road. All right. I also forgot to mention when you do the foiling class, I ask you to have your machine, your die cutting machine, uh, your paper, approved paper, your approved foils, approved dies, because I don't want you coming with some AliExpress no-name die that doesn't work. I can't help you with that. Um, if you wanted to pre-cut some of your foil and paper, you could do that. You don't have to. Um, but I almost forgot to put the paper on that one. Um, make sure you have a good pair of scissors. I like a pair of scissors that are dedicated to foiling. Some of you guys know scrapbookers, we have dedicated scissors to ribbon cutting. Like people will die if they touch those scissors and use them towards paper. You need a dedicated pair of foil scissors. And I think my viewer Kiki sent me these if I recall. <coughs> Mm 
All right, so I purposely moved my car to the bottom because I wanted that machine to die cut, pressure, 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 get to the bottom. And honestly, I don't know that I'm gonna die cut all of these. So by having the car on the bottom, I could very easily do a happy birthday sentiment, thinking of you, wishing you well, hooray, whatever sentiment I want right here on the top and I have an easy to go card, right? So let's see how we do here. Ooh, I thought that would be a little better. <laughs> Okay, so this is the deco foil, and we have a little bit of underfoiling. I honestly thought it was going to be better. So let me show you the car here. Uh, now, I'm not trying to poke at people, but if I worked for a particular company, I'd be like, look at that great foiling, you guys, next. <laughs> but I'm Nancy, so I'm going to be honest. And show you we got a little bit of underfoiling in our car does he look good he still looks good but I wish there was more coverage and we got a little movement there so I might have to just make sure I'm more careful running him through but still he sat on there a long time that should have transferred a little better okay we're moving on the cobalt it's blinking I'm gonna cut the next foil while we're waiting Um, also, I wanted to answer, to sign up for the class, you have to join Foiling Snobs Club. That's the only place the sign up is, and I'll tell you why I had to do it that way. Just to be practical, um, we have 5,000 members in the Foiling Snobs Club. If I did the sign up on my YouTube page with 27,000 people, nobody would get a spot, okay? So... I needed it to be a small number of people. I'm maxing out the class at 20 because I wanna be able to spend personal time with you and help you through this journey. And I can't do that if there's too many people. Yes, my um, awesome admin team is gonna help me out in certain classes. So if you have questions, other people will be there to look and advise. Um, but you wanna make sure you have your right die cutting machine, your right foiling machine, the right paper, the right foil, and like I said, a pair of scissors, nice clean scissors would be helpful. <coughs> and yes, T created this so that you can get it if you need it in metric for our um, European friends. And if you wanted to sign up for multiple classes, let's say you have a foil press and a glimmer and you wanna know how to use both. That's fine, I'm okay with that. Okay, let's see how the glimmer does. Okay, that is a much cleaner transfer. So let's look here again. Here is the image. See how much smoother that is? And look at the waste foil. We don't have any specks in there. So that's definitely a cleaner transfer than the deco foil. You guys see the difference? So this is the kind of stuff I'm going to be having you do and teaching you in class so I'm going to demonstrate it and then I'm going to say now you do it and show me what your results are and there are going to be folks that hopefully you know they get it the first time and there are going to be folks that say uh-oh I got over foiling I got under foiling I got jumpy dies whatever it is we'll work through it together and that's the point of this class is for me to be there to tutor you and walk you through the process Okay, so Glimmer's doing it good. Deco foil, eh, okay. Now we're gonna go to, go press and foil is in the machine. It's counting down. know the 
that go press and foil is going anywhere. I mean, they're a, they are the original hot foil company. So that's up to you. I bought one because mine got a little crusty um, and cut into because they had cut and foil dies. But um, I don't know that you need an extra top plate unless you feel like you need an extra one. I, I have not heard that they're being discontinued. Not that I believe that rumor anymore after all the rigmarole I went through last week. Hi, Stacy. Stacy sent me a birthday present. It was so nice. Thank you. And if you have questions... Always email us at foilingsnobsclub at gmail.com. Okay. This is the Go Press and Foil. And what color did we say was next? Gemini Paper Craft, which is the pink one. let that heat up okay this is the go press and foil silver diamonds i forgot to mention different foil um finishes so like this one has a holographic diamond finish i don't have any satin or pearlescent foils out they're pretty generic shiny foils will have different results too um, the satin pearlescent finishes, I always seem to have a little bit of uh, crossing my fingers with them. But anything that kind of is glittery, shimmery, those tend to work okay. But again, each company has its own different results. And this one is splendid, darling. So just like the Glimmer Foil, came out beautiful. And I honestly believe the Glimmer Foil and the Go Press and Foil, I think they are manufactured by the same company. But I don't know where these are manufactured, so I'm not sure on that. Okay. Next one in the cooker is the Gemini Paper Craft Cerise. So, so far... On a scale of 10, I'm going to give the Deco Foil an 8 out of 10. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. Glimmer gets a 10 out of 10. Go Press so far gets a 10 out of 10. Helen, that's correct. I heard that the Cuddle Bug works with the Go Press and Foil, but that is the only machine. The Glimmer will not fit in the Cuddle Bug, is what I was told as well. But it will fit in the Revolution. Am I missing any questions from anybody, you guys? And my team is linking the foiling friend you can download right off of Etsy. And I am also um, linking spellbinders and scrapbook.com because there was some new releases today and you can pick them up on spellbinders or scrapbook.com and if you need new top plates for your glimmer the cutting plate and the thin shim i believe the price was $19.99 for those replacements on spellbinders i don't think scrapbook.com had them in stock yet I'm going to assume when scrapbook.com has them in stock, they'll just be a couple dollars cheaper. And the car I'm using is out of the um, Glimmer of the Month kit from Spellbinders. And I am just in love with this cute little car. Okay. 
Okay, this green foil is Gemini multi-surface foil. We're gonna see how these do. All right, so this is the Gemini paper craft foil. You guys holding your breath? Um, actually, that surprises me. <laughs> I honestly thought this was gonna over foil. It did a little bit, nothing much here. Um, actually came out pretty clean. Normally, this foil transfers at a lower heat setting, so it tends to overfoil. I'm really surprised that it did not overfoil. So that actually worked pretty cleanly. Um, I would give it a 9 out of 10. I do have overfoiling here where the foil touched, which I, I suspected more of it. But I have overfoiling. Wherever that excess foil was hanging over, I have overfoiling. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I generally don't recommend foil press paper craft foil on the other foiling machines. Because this transfers at a lower heat temperature, it usually overfoils. So I don't want you to get this unless you have a foil press. And I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because I'm really surprised. I didn't mix up my boxes, did I? Nope. Huh. I'm actually happy I didn't waste a piece of paper. Okay, next one is the green multi-surface foil. Right, Cheryl? Hello, Carlin. If you signed up for the class before two hours ago, I have already sent you your PayPal invoice. Um, it's $10 for the class. I suspect class will run anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. I scheduled the time for two hours just in case people had a lot of questions. But I think it'll be an hour to an hour and a half. And this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how to put your dies hot foil stamps on your plate properly, um, how to use the right paper, how to use the right foil. We're going to look at people's issues and troubleshoot all together. And I expect it to be a very collaborative learning experience with everyone. I can see you, you can see me, we can communicate. So it's a lot easier than doing a YouTube where you guys hear me and I'm basically talking to myself. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Hi, Leanne. Okay, this is the Gemini multi-surface foil. So we did paper craft foil. Now we're doing multi-surface. And you'll notice I'm taking my time, running it through once. Um, I did catch part of a foiling video yesterday and the suggestion was made to put silicone down. I don't suggest that and I'll tell you why. Um, these machines are specifically made to work with specific die cutting systems and I think when you add that much depth by adding the silicone mat underneath, um, you're going to, one, get a lot of overfoiling because it's too thick. But two, I think that um, <clears throat> you risk your machine warping um, and and pressing your, um, your rollers af apart. And so I don't recommend that. I don't think that that's recommended by any of the hot foiling manufacturers. The last thing I want to see you do is have to buy another die cutting machine. Oh my gosh, there's like three pieces of foil here. So this is foil quill foil, which is super thin. In case you don't know what the foil quill is, it comes in a single writing instrument, which heats up. You attach it to a USB battery pack and it heats up, you can see it's super thin, or a foil quill that attaches to your electronic silhouette, cricket, scan and cut, and you can draw out through the heat pen. 
I don't really like it that much. I don't see the practical use for it unless you have excellent calligraphy handwriting. Look at this is so thin. It keeps rolling up on itself. The value is definitely not there. I have said before, I don't like when foil comes on sheets because when it comes on sheets like it did here, first of all, I had two stuck together, but also when you cut when you cut foil off of a roll like we did here, you know, I have a little bit left on the roll. I can cut the roll two inches. I can cut the roll four inches, but I cut an exact amount off of the roll, right? When it comes in sheets, drives me crazy that these guys put their foil on sheets. Once I've cut that off, like this is what's left. I, I don't have enough for a card front. I have enough small pieces. Who wants to collect a bunch of small pieces? I'd rather just have it all on a roll. So for me, I've always said I think it's a waste when the foil is cut into sheets. This is super thin. Not my favorite. I know it was not specifically made for this kind of hot foiling. You're supposed to tape this down to your mat when you're using this. Um, but I know some of you guys have it, and I know you guys want to try it. And oh, I just remembered, somebody remind me, I'm missing a contender. We're going to add a seventh foil. Guess who it is? And just like you guys, oh, I see it's on sale. It's shiny. It's pretty. I buy it. And then I throw it in the drawer and go, this is rubbish and never use it again. Until somebody says, Nancy, have you tried the foil quill foil? And I go, yes, let me grab the rubbish out of the drawer. Okay. Sorry. Yes, Stacy, you are correct. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, let's see how multi-surface green worked. This is Gemini foil press multi-surface foil you guys we are like down to four and a half foils here and that foiled excellent 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 i knew it would the multi-surface foil and the paper craft foil the difference is the temperature of which they release the paper craft foil works best on the foil press on low and the multi-surface foil is just like any of the other foils here. Works great at all temperatures. So I give that a 10 out of 10. We have the foil quill heating up. Let me go grab our surprise contender that I forgot about. Oh my gosh, the abuse I just endured to get this foil out of the back of the closet. Okay. Tracy! Okay, we are now at foil quill foil. This also comes in big rolls. So if you don't have the small sheets, it comes in very big rolls. Notice I always set them aside, let them cool down before I move on to the next one. Oh, this is going to be a psychedelic funky car. 
This is my friend Violetta over at Blue Bonnet. If you have not tried her foil, she ships worldwide. She's in Texas. Um, she has some beautiful hot foils and toner foils. But she's a little mom and pop organization, so we want to support her. My foiling friend is keeping everything lined up. I think only that one my I shifted the die was my fault. Okay, let's see how foil quill foil does. Excellent. Wow. Very good. Look at that red Volkswagen. Very nice. That also gets a 10 out of 10. And again, I'm using hammer mill paper. I'm not even using my good paper, you guys. I saved that paper. This gets a 10 out of 10. So, so far, the only one that didn't do good was the deco foil. No surprise there. Okay, we got Blue Bonnet cutting down, counting down 60 seconds. Let's cut some Crafty Critta. If you are interested in purchasing any of these foils and supporting these companies, my team is listing the links. They are not always affiliate links. They're just awesome companies that we like to support. I heard that somebody asked during said foiling video yesterday if that person ever heard of Crafty Critter. No, 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 no. This is a very small secret to the Foiling Snobs Club. And I will tell you that those big name people, if they can't put an affiliate link to it, they're not going to look for it. They're not going to go out of their way to show it to you because they want their affiliate link. So they will only show you what's attached to an affiliate link. Nancy, on the other hand, I care about you. I care about you getting the best foil. I don't care if I have an affiliate link. I spent money on a lot of these foils. Um, yes, I like to support Crafty Critter and Blue Bonnet. That doesn't mean I work for them and I get paid from them. Their product is awesome, which is why I tell you guys that. And Crafty Critter gives you guys a discount. And they're just super awesome people. Okay. This one is Blue Bonnet. This is going to be cool. I'm using the 100 pound, but again, if you have 80 pound, it'll work as well. You might need a shim, depending on how tight your die cutting machine is. Helen, that's why you're here. You might have some of these in your closet not being used, and I want to help you use it. I gotta pull out one more piece. This is the Crafty Critter foil going in on the cooker. I think I have extra paper here. Yep, so one more for the Cricut foil. Okay, Blue Bonnet, I, she doesn't really have a name for her foils. She gives them numbers, so you just gotta go to her. You only can order from her on her Facebook site. Are we ready? Fantastic. And this car looks awesome with gold polka dotted foil. Oh my gosh. He is disco ready. Uh, 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 uh. Staying alive. Staying alive. Oh, that is another 10 out of 10. Two more contenders left. The champion, Crafty Critta, is now in the Spellbinders machine, and we have a new challenger, Cricut Foil Transfer Sheets. Hammer Mill is the good paper, but Crafty Critta is better. 
So let me show you. This is another one that's designed to be put in a electronic die cutting machine. It comes in sheets. This one has the little sticky tape to hold it down. Oh, we got to do purple. Purple. Can you cut me a piece of purple? Probably got three sheets all in one. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my crafty critter paper when I'm experimenting. My crafty critter paper. That's, ooh, did I make that thick enough? Okay. Again, I hate the sheets. I understand the sheets because you tape it to your Cricut mat, but I don't like it. Okay. Crafty Critter, Silver Galaxy, going through to heat. I did not use any shims for any of this. I wanted the playing ground to be equal for all of them on the same paper, using the same hot foil plate in the same position. The only thing I changed was the foil company. So, sorry, it might work if you want to use a shim on it. I don't want to have to think about that when there's seven other foils I didn't have to do that with. Okay, this is the Cricut foil, new kit on the block here. I found out that was hot foil by accident. I stuck it in the hot foil machine and used it one day and was like, what? Okay, here is our champion. Crafty Critter! Fantastic! Look at the stars. We all knew that was going to work, though. 10 out of 10. That's just pretty. Okay. Last but not least. Counting down. 60 seconds. And again, this testing really only applies to the glimmer and the go press and foil, not the foil press, okay? If you have a foil press machine, you're going to have to individually test each of these and go from low to medium to high heat and figure out what is the best setting for you. Your foil press platform is going to have different heating elements, uh, temperatures based on how old your platform is. We found that out last week. Um, and depending on the size of your die, you may need to increase or decrease your timing. So I didn't want this to be a super long video. If I did that with each of these in the foil press, this would be a much longer video. I really wanted to go through the basics here and see how these eight foils did eight and a half foils did just in hot foiling so again you cannot use these foils in your mink machine or your laminator these are specifically for glimmer or go press and foil Um, Diane, if you go back and watch the beginning of the video, the, the deco foil actually was on the machine longer because I was talking. The problem is that foil is super thin in consistency. And I said that when it came out and I did my testing on it. Um, it's just not as good of a quality of foil. And you can tell when you touch the foil how thick and thin it is. These other foils are much thicker, and that foil is just, it was put out very quickly. Okay, here it is, Cricut foil. Ooh, Cricut foil, we have a little bit of underfoiling. Not a lot, not a lot. I would give this a 9 out of 10. I know you purple fans like this. It's very, very minimal. Um, I have a little bit of underfoiling down here. You can see it a little bit on the car here. Very, very hard to see. Very hard to see. 
That looks cool, though, in purple. Can you guys see that? See, we got a little bit of underfoiling here. Can you see it? I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Still very passable. Average person's not going to notice it. So let's talk about what we learned today. I'll show you guys each one. So I use the Glimmer machine. And again, the Glimmer and the Go Press and Foil are very closely related. I used the same hot foil plate. This came out of the Spellbinders Glimmer of the Month. And this is the Foiling Friend. And if you've never seen the Foiling Friend, you download it off of Etsy. It was invented by one of our FSC members, Tracy, who's not afraid of color. She has made it for the Glimmer. She's made it for the Foil Press. She's made it for the Go Press and Foil. She has made it in... Um, U.S. and metric sizes for you and all you do is you download it and you print it on regular copy paper. Once you print it on regular copy paper, you own this. You cut it out on the dotted lines here. Nobody pay attention that I'm using my foiling scissors. Okay and the reason you want to print this out on regular copy paper is this is going to get beat up. It is going to get dinged. It's going to get dented. It's going to get scratched. It's going to get foil stuck all over it. It's going to get dirty, okay? And this is, you want on thin copy paper because you don't want it to give any thickness. You don't want it to affect your foiling. And then you're just going to use some tape and you're going to tape it on the matching platform, okay? So this one was for the GoPress. This one's for the foil, uh, foil press. Um, this one is for the Glimmer. Now, I thought I was being fancy. I printed this on heat safe acetate with my laser printer. I then foiled it with black toner foil with my laser printed toner on there. Um, it's already getting beat up and bent. It gets bent every time I use it. You can see how much it's kind of getting grungy there. So I had, I don't know why I thought I was being fancy. Do not do this. Do it this way. Do not do it this way. Okay, just print it on paper. You can print this out a hundred times and make a whole notebook if you want to. And when it starts to get dirty, you throw out the old one and use the new one. And I just put a little bit of washi tape at the top and bottom there. Okay. <clears throat> so I wanted to test these foils out because we have foiling classes coming up. I am going to be teaching you... Um, Glimmer 101, Go Press and Foil 1 and 1, or Foil Press 101. The cost of the class is $10. I expect the class to go for an hour to an hour and a half, maybe two hours. But I will give up to no more than 20 students private instruction through Zoom on how to use your machines. I did a video last week showing you the five or six different kinds of paper that are used in hot foiling, and we came up with about four different recommendations for good paper. I think only one or two came out to where I wouldn't recommend it for hot foiling. So today, I wanted to kind of mirror that with foils. These are all the brands of hot foil. If you do not see this brand listed as your foil company, then you probably are not using hot foil. You are probably using toner foil and toner foil will not work in the class. You will not get any hot foiling results. There's a lot of foiling companies out there. They're categorized as toner foil or hot foil. They do not interchange. You cannot use toner foil where you would use hot foil, and you cannot use hot foil where you would use toner foil. And that's the first step in learning the difference in these classes is what kind of foil are you using? So I found you guys the papers for best results. I'm now going to show you guys the foils for best results. And honestly, all of these foils performed okay. There wasn't one foil on here that I would say, don't buy it, don't use it. Again, the die design or the hot foil stamp you use, the paper and the pressure of your machine is going to give you different results than what I got. But for the most part, I'm happy with the results I got today. So let me review them with you. <clears throat> uh, 
All right, so, hi, Jim. Um, number 10 is Cricut foil. Where'd the waste foil go? Did it fall down? I don't know. Uh, I don't want to lose the waste foil because I'm going to use all of those. I don't know where it went. So this is Cricut foil, which was not designed for this. It was designed for the Cricut machine. But if you guys have Cricut foil, I am losing my mind. Oh my gosh, here it is. I'm like, where did I put the package? I think Cricut foil also comes in bigger sheets. Um, 12 by 12 sheets, I believe. You can easily find this at Joann's, but it is specifically designed. Um, you get 24 sheets, four by six. I think the price used to be $10 on this. It was quite expensive, quite expensive. Um, but they come in individual sheets. This one has three different colors, so you get eight of each color. Um, Again, yeah, not designed for what we did, but if you are in a pinch and you need hot foil, you could definitely use it. And I give this a 9 out of 10. Okay? It's my little rating here. The rating on the Nancy scale. Crafty Critta Silver Galaxy. Crafty Critta is my go-to home foiling company. This is who I reach out to when I need foils. Toner foils are hot foils. Their quality is amazing. Look at all of that holographic stars. It's super glossy, super smooth, super pretty. And that I gave a 10 out of 10. They also sell DIY toner paper, which is my best hot foiling paper. I love it. Okay, Blue Bonnet is another small company we support. Um, we just want to bring awareness to them. You can only order from Facebook. Um, by the way, Crafty Crita is out of Australia. So when you order from Australia, the price actually comes down because the U.S. dollar is stronger than the Australian dollar. And we have a discount code with them. Um, it's FSC05. So you get a 5% discount from them. Blue Bonnet is a Facebook only company. So you can only order by messaging her through Facebook. She's limited stock. So if she has something in stock. She'll post it. If she doesn't, she doesn't. So very, very small company but excellent customer service. Okay, the foil quill foil. Again, foil quill foil. And I forgot to mention, Blue Bonnet has toner foil that comes with a white label. Their hot foil comes with a black label. So you cannot mix up the two foils. And they come in these nice reclosable bags. Um, Blue Bonnet also comes in large reclosable Ziploc bags. Foil quill comes in rolls or these little sheets again kind of designed the same way as the Cricut foil um, it's designed to be this pen like structure I don't have it in front of me um, but it goes into your um, scan and cut silhouette machine your Cricut machine and the pen basically draws through the foil and it heats up and as it heats up, it writes through the foil and it gives you this, you know, hand-drawn effect. So I don't have the patience to wait for that because it takes forever. But I do have an attraction to foil. So, of course, I bought it and tried it out and I've used it like three times. All right. Here is that one. It came out okay. Beautiful. Again, it's hot foil, so it works. We gave that a 10 out of 10. And if anybody disagrees with my grading, go ahead. I'm okay. Okay. Number 4B was multi-surface green Gemini foil. I'm going to show these two side by side. So Gemini has two different company or two different types. So the Gemini foil press system has paper craft foil and multi-surface foil. Paper craft foil transfers at a lower heat temperature. Multi-surface works at a higher heat temperature. Their sales tactic was, well, you can foil on leather or wood. You can do that with either one, honestly. You don't need one or the other for that. But this works best on the Gemini foil press on low. And this works best on medium or high, okay? So I honestly thought this paper craft foil was going to overfoil a lot. 
and it really did it. They both came out with good results. I did give the Gemini Paper Craft Foil 9 out of 10 because I do have some overfoiling around here I need to clean up and up here. And I didn't have that with any of my other foils. So I knew it was going to overfoil. It just surprised me how little it did overfoil. I'm very pleasantly surprised. And the multi-surface foil foiled beautifully. So 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. And I have all these fun cars. All right. Number three is the Go Press and Foil. So Go Press and Foil um, is the Go Press and Foil Crafters Companion, or sorry, Couture Creations, now bought out by Art Deco, now owns them. Um, and this is their Silver Diamonds, and it came out stunning. Look at how fun that car is. That easily got a 10 out of 10. Glimmer foil is what you guys are used to seeing. Spellbinders glimmer. This is the cobalt. I need to get some more. And again, stunning easily. 10 out of 10. And last but not least is the only one that did not do as well. It had a fair chance, just like the others. It actually sat on the heat a little longer because I was yapping my mouth during the introduction, so I cannot blame it on the heat. What I would say is, yes, I would, if I were foiling with this foil again, probably add a shim, a thin paper shim. I'm keeping all this waste foil because I'm going to foil all of these as well, so I don't want to lose them, although I lost the purple car. I don't know where that one went. So I'm going to save those. Um, so the deco foil, brand new kit on the block, hot foil, did not give us 100% coverage. It's kind of splotchy looking. Can you see that? It's just not as smooth. So I gave this an 8 out of 10. Does it work? It works. Does it, I mean, is it covered? Yeah, it's covered. Um, just not as smooth as I would like it to be compared to all of the other foils we used here tonight. So the two I would keep away from my glimmer and my go press and foil would be um, the two that did not come out, 10 out of 10. Um, the Cricut foil I would even leave in there is the, the deco foil, hot foil. I tested it this when it came out. I was not impressed with it. And the Gemini paper craft foil. I would not take a chance in you guys buying this and then finding out it over foils in your machine. So these two probably would not spend any money on if you have a glimmer or go press and foil. Now you got a foil press machine. That's a different story. We'll talk about that another day. You guys know I do like the foil press machine. And this is the foil, the only foil I think you should use in the foil press machine. But for the go press and foil and the glimmer, I don't recommend buying paper craft foil. It will overfoil and it will leave you disappointed. And I don't like this deco foil. And I said that before. And I'm really sorry that I'm going to hurt some people's feelings. But I got eight other foiling companies here I can choose from. That ain't one of them. The purple was stuck to the mint green one. Was it? I got mint green, blue, silver, dark green, pink, silver, gold. I don't know where it went. Ah, oh, found him. There he is. Purple car. These all came out great, so I'm going to reuse those. All right. If you got questions, ask them now. Did you like this video? Please give it a thumbs up if you did. So you can see how it's kind of bumpy looking. It's much better. The rest of these, fantastic, darling. And I'm going to leave them like this. And all I got to do is just stamp my sentiment or die cut them. I gotta erase this. See, yucky. I don't have any that are not usable though. I really don't. 
they're all good. I like these disco cars. Staying alive, staying alive. But look at the difference between the first and the last. See, this is normal to see the texture of the paper coming through. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how the light reflects off the foil. I expect there to be texture. That's not what I'm talking about. This foil is not properly adhered, so there are pock marks or bald spots or whatever you want to call it, versus this is much smoother. See? You can definitely see it. All right, so if you have not signed up for the foiling classes, this is kind of what I'm going to do with you, but you will get individual attention. Um... You're paying $10 for the class. I will tell you there is a gift that will be coming your way through email before the class, but you have to sign up for the class. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, and this is my, my job. My hope here is to help you learn how to use your machine, learn what papers work, learn what foils work, so that you are not afraid. I know you guys have mink machines, glimmer machines, die cutting machines, scan and cut machines in the box, in the closet, collecting dust. You spent a lot of money. You spent a lot of money. I want you to get the machines out. I want you to learn and be comfortable at making beautiful cards. And this is what I'm here to do. So if it took me 60 minutes and I made nine card pieces, I got nine beautiful cards here. Well, eight and a half. But I can stamp on these. I can foil on them. I can really be comfortable with my foiling. So I want you guys to be just as comfortable. This comes from practice. I did not learn this overnight. You guys know if you go back to my earlier videos, I gave up on the glimmer. I was like, nope, not using it. Don't like it. I don't see what there's a need for it. And then I got very, very lucky and got called on the Spellbinders design team. And guess what I had to do? I had to make friends with the Glimmer and learn real quick what the pros and cons are. And I got to say, the Glimmer gets hotter. The plates don't warp. It's easier to not have to think about settings. Um, you know, whether it's hot, medium, low. I don't have to worry about the timer. All I got to do is put my foil in and roll it through my die cutting system. In terms of cost, it is cheaper for a glimmer machine and a manual die cutting system. If you go with the foil press, it has its advantages. It works with the Gemini or the Gemini Junior, but it's particular about which types of foil you use. The foil press platform warps, which we now know they did not fix. And you must have a Gemini or Gemini Junior. So in terms of cost, you're spending a lot more on that machine to do foiling. So there are pros and cons to both machines. The foil press is kind of the odd child out, but I won't leave it out. I know a lot of you guys have the foil press. It was the original hot foil machine. And I will walk you through how to use that as well. Look at this rainbow of cars. So $10 is a very small price to pay. And if you want to know what your $10 is going towards, Miss Leah, my daughter, is turning 10 years old um, on the night of Stamp Wars, the 21st. So your contribution, your $10 to pay for this class is going to pay for a 10-year-old's birthday party. So that is exactly where the funds are going. I'm being honest with you. Um, I'm collecting that and I'm paying for her birthday party. So the classes are on the Foiling Snobs Club Facebook group. They're at the very top under the featured tabs. I'll show you where here. Let me log in. So 
So if you log in through Facebook and you go to Foiling Snobs Club, if you're just joining us, you do need to answer all the questions. We have kind of a bot filter, and if you don't answer the questions, it won't let you in. So you'll have to scroll down and answer yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, okay? Answer the questions, and then up at the top here, it says Featured. And if you go through Featured, I have here some information about hot foil plates, some information about paper. So those of you that have signed up for the class and you want to know what paper to buy, I have one, two, three, four, five, six different links on where you can get paper. Okay, um, so there's the paper links. Hammer Mill is the one I use today. And then after that is the sign up. So Glimmer 101 sign up, Gemini Foil Press 101, and Go Press and Foil one on one. So you're going to pick your machine. Let's say it's Glimmer. You're going to click on the picture and it tells you here what you're going to need. You're going to need your Glimmer machine, approved die cutting machines, approved foils, approved papers. Um, pretty much any of these foils I've used tonight are approved. Okay. Um, approved hot foil dies. That tells you the class is $10, tells you where to email me if you have any questions, and the date and time on this particular class is Saturday, January 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern. That's for the Glimmer. The... I think I thought I scheduled that for Friday, but it's Saturday. That's fine. Um... The foil press class is Sunday at 11 a.m. And let me tell you why I did that one on a Sunday. Because the foil press is generally used more by, I think, our European friends. So for my friends that are in the UK, I think you guys are six hours ahead in time. And my Australian friends are 12 hours ahead in time. So I needed to find a time where I could get U.S., Euro and Australian kind of all in the same time. I know it's late for some of you Australian folks. Um, I will do more classes in the future. So just keep that in mind. This is the first round. Um, so Gemini Foil Press is on Sunday the 15th at 11 a.m. And then Go Press and Foil will be next Friday, January 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern. And uh, we have Stamp Wars on Saturday the 21st, which is Leah's actual birthday. But I think I answer all the questions. You go in there. You sign up in there. I tell you what papers. I just show you what foils to use. Um, and if you have questions, you can email us at foilingsnobsclub at gmail.com. That is our team email. If I don't see it, my team will see it and they'll tell me to answer it. Guess the future people. Okay. So today's class video was just to show you these are the eight hot foil companies. And honestly, any of these will work. Will they work splendid? Eh, I think we can get you to pass. I think we can get you a better, you know, odds than where you were. And if you want to watch the paper video, um, that was a couple days ago. It was testing six popular papers for hot foiling, I think is the name of it. Any questions, you guys? Concerns? Team, did I miss any? Opinion. I think she needs to put in a special request for my. No, they won't. Well, I drive a Volkswagen, but I pay for that. That's my personal car. My work car is a Ford. <laughs> Although I am taking Nana. I got Nana a Subaru. We're going Thursday, so Nana can go pick up her new Subaru. Everybody's good. Okay. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I know this was a last minute live. If you're missing anything, catch the replay, write down your questions, email me. We always answer. Um, if you want to just do this on your own, you can't make the class. 
that's okay. We will record the class for students. So if you are signed up, we will record it and you will be sent the private link after class. If you're not gonna be in the class and you missed it, you're gonna have to wait for the next round. Those videos will not be public. They will not be put on YouTube. It is a private class for those folks only. Um, but that we'll have another round in the spring if you miss it. Um, we did a great class on toner foiling. We used wonderful Crafty Krita products. Um, and you're going to see the kind of the same results here. Crafty Krita does have the best products. But all of these companies, you can see, I don't expect everybody to drop everything and, you know, go order something without trying it first. So if you have the papers I recommended and some semblance of these foils and a good dye, you'll be okay. Thank you, guys. Karen, she's getting a cross trek. It's the perfect Nana car. Thank you, guys, for hanging out. Don't forget the thumbs out, thumbs up. I will put the description uh, links if you're interested in shopping any of these products. Thanks, guys. Bye.